hey guys good afternoon so today i want to talk about elastic MapReduce. well i am preparing about ocean AWS data engineer so they have this topic in the syllabus glue and map reduce so and also pace park so i just uh, do today some hands-on on the pace park in the glue so let me just give you know demo of what i did right so let's just go there and yes well this is amazon s3 and uh, this is studio let me just first tell you what i did you know so basically here i you know uh create uh, the cloud formation template which is include a lot of stacks so the you know essential uh, what we need right the creating the goal pipeline so here i made a template and let's just see what it's including the template so you can you know understand so in resources you can see uh, first first I create the glue database which is name is uh, Pace Park tutorial database and then there are in the database I create employee table customer table and then uh, and then order table okay and then I also create the S3 bucket and then glue notebook well here we are using the aws glue studio in the glue studio we are using jupyter notebook which is good here is basically you know i am permission for that so it's basically a bunch of stacks we are using for you know creating using a cloud formation it's based way to you know doing the, this thing and uh, i just let me just show you the the bucket uh, so this is the bucket uh, yes and here are like the three files customer employee and order in customer there are customer data uh, and then employee in update data order is order data uh, and uh, let me just show you the glue right what's in glue so if we check the glue database right so this is stable and where is the database get data log and then yeah, here it is the database right so as mentioned i before as mentioned before here is the database base park tutorial db in there there are four tables uh, order employee customer well there are three but uh, when i do some hands on then i created fourth table right which i will show you in next uh, thing so these aws glue and the database and the table you can see the time and dates so let's just jump on the, the uh, glue studio right so this is like sorry so this is basically a glue studio and in this glue studio i am using the aws glue notebook so here the basically the language is space park but there are some commands which using glue command so for starting the notebook you have to do some steps so this is provided by aws you have to run that uh, like for installing the you know glue context or uh, spark context so you need some you have to run this command and then uh, uh, let's just start if you you know the status is ready like you you got this kind of thing you know into ready status and then session is created 
so yeah you are you are ready to go to you know for uh, coding so i just uh, here uh, uh, performing some commands basically more all famous command which are using in the paste path glue and map reduce so basically uh, first uh, what i do is like it read the customer table in the glue data catalog using the dynamic frame well here uh, we using dynamic frame because it's a glue studio so it's better to read in the dynamic frame we can use also spark frame matlab uh, data frame uh, sorry yeah data frame to you know in spark uh, spark job uh, we can do that also in the you know after this uh, dynamic frame so um so so basically here i give the table name and the database name and our dynamic frame customer is uh, like this is the command like you know uh for first you have to create a dynamic uh, frame so like it's like a variable you have, here we give variable and then what is the variable is like create the dynamic frame this is mandatory step when you are using that this notebook and using that frame so yeah i give the database name and table name and i just want to show this you know the customer data so this is like simple command uh, dynamic frame customer dot show it's like uh in sql we select you know select data from the customer table the limit 10 but here we are using the, this kind of command like dot show 10 so in, in the here it's giving the you know uh the, this kind of uh data which is customer data which is consists of customer id first name and then last name and the full name right uh so and okay and the next uh, command what i am doing basically is uh, like uh, uh so this is same command because there there i got some bug so ha huh, one thing like why I, this is the same command is like when you performing in paste park you have to be very careful like you know capital and small letters and then space because if you give small letter then it will not performing that is why you know this is second time it's appearing so you have to be very careful okay uh, so this code is uh, for you know uh, checking the data types and schema so suppose in one table how much uh, what is the schema and what is the data types of there so you can use that you know print dot schema so in customer table we have this much column customer id as you can you know see before like customer id first name last name full name and then the long is the data type string 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 okay that's good and next code we are basically counting the row like you know select data select count in the sql like here is dot count So it's at six thirty five row there. Now, in this uh, code, what we are basically do is like uh, we select the specific column like customer ID and then full name. So here is the command is select the fields and then basically whenever you do any command, you have to be give so statement because without so statement you can't get the record right so here is compulsory to give so record so here you can see the customer id and the full name okay uh yeah and uh, okay so this is like sort and you can give direct dot show to you know show the command now here like uh, here we are using a draw fields so you, you remember that we have four schema customer id full name last full name 
first name and last name. So we draw first name and last name from the table. Uh, you know, draw field and the remaining are showing the customer ID and full name. Yeah, so that is it. Now we are uh, here in this code. We are doing mapping thing like we are converting full full name to name. We are doing transforming. So this is quite uh, lengthy, complicated uh, process for mapping. So here, like you have to give the old name and then and then new name, new schema, right? So we don't want to change the customer id so we keep old name as it is new name right and the data type also same but in the full name and the string data type we want to change full name to name so we change the name and as it is data type right uh, and here like uh, we give variable DYF is basically common variable people are using in the you know data frames. So the the command is apply, and the, our frame is as we created data frame customer, and then mapping this is the mapping, and then apply mapping. So yeah, and this is mandatory dot show. So as you can see, the our full name is converted into name right so yeah this command are like uh, in first glance it's very hard but when when you you know do practice then it will basically uh, easy it's same command as the as sql you know but you should know some uh, you should type in some different manner right so this code is like filter finding pattern uh, you know giving condition so in dynamic frame uh, if you want find give condition right if this is x then that should be y so here we give a variable f and this is lambda well that is this is not aws lambda it's basically this lambda function in the data frames so it's giving uh, uh, we give condition if last name is Adam, then uh, uh, it's matter show the uh, records who have last name is equal to Adam, right? So this is the code like these all are like last name is equal to Adam. It's showing the all records who have last name is equal to Adam. So yeah, th these are some different uh, you know some uh, command you should know. Um, and um, so, so this is a code for you know, uh, like this a uh, code for showing all the data. So uh, let me just show you. Uh, so you can see the customer table from glue data category using dynamic frame. So this is whole customer table. This is how look like data, you know, the whole schema, order date, due date, ship date, employee ID, and so many things. And this is whole whole full uh, table is look like. Yeah, it's very big. Now, uh, same thing we doing SQL in the joining. We are also we are using the join. So. In customer, uh, customer, the table and order table, there are two uh, 